Hi, y'all. Hi. So I came on today to encourage someone. My name is Rosa Undefeated by the blood of Christ. Jesus' name alone carries weight. Hear me. The blood itself is undefeated. I need somebody to know that today. So as going through my life, you know, I always felt like I carried a lot of weight. You know, a lot of weight for, for this, that, and the third, and carrying other people's weight and some burdens and a lot of things was not mine to carry. You know, and I never could figure out why. And as I'm on my way to work, you know, I'm just in worship, got my worship music going, and you know, in my thoughts, me and God just chopping it up, you know. In other words, me and God just talking. I'm just talking to God. I'm thanking him. He encouraging me, you know. The warfare has been great. I know that Satan is upset. He is mad. The kingdom of darkness, it does not want this to manifest, but it's already done. The mission has already been carried it out. I'm just walking it out now, y'all. I'm just being obedient to what God had put into my hands and the call on my life when he called me. But anyway, this year, earlier on this year, God brought back to my remembrance just a few minutes ago. I kept saying the weight, like I got so much on my plate and I'm trying to do so much at one time. And sometimes I'm just like, Lord, I just don't know. Sorry, y'all. And I'm just like, Lord, I don't know. You know, I don't know what I'm doing, where I'm going. I, I just don't know, you know. And sometimes you can feel like you're, all, you're out here all by yourself. You know, you're just alone, you know, because nobody really understands the call on your life, the mission. They don't really understand that. You know, you, you might have one or two people that kind of, you know, understand. But guess what? At the end of the day, it ain't nobody but you and God running this thing. Somebody going to hear that. In the deep part of their soul, somebody going to hear that. It ain't nobody but you and God at the end of the day. And he going to strategically put people in place. Set people up in place for y'all to cross paths for a season, for a time to push you further and further to the mission. For the mission. Okay, y'all. I'm getting excited. So as I'm driving, you know, God, he encouraging me because the warfare has been great. The enemy has really been fighting me, y'all. And I know he upset because of this. And I'm just taking a stand now, y'all. I just, I got to keep moving. I got to keep fighting. I got to keep praying. I got to keep pressing. I got to keep doing what God called me to do. And God showed me in a dream that the enemy was coming at me. It was a big, big python snake that was trying to get through the window of a car that I was driving, right? And I grabbed the the, the big snake by the head and clamped down on it with, with my hand, with the left hand, right? And I was trying to squeeze the life out of the snake, y'all, but I just could not squeeze the life out of it. But anyway, the snake pulled back and I threw it out the window. And I kept going, I said, in the dream, I got to get down here to my sister house, right? Long story short, in between the get to my sister house, which I did get there, got them and said, come on, y'all, we got to go, because this is what's taking place. I jumped back into the car and left. But as the snake was trying to follow me, I God shot me up in the air with the car. And under the car, I was pulling a whole nother car. Whitby, y'all, somebody got to get this. Somebody got to understand this because you listen, the weight is heavy, baby. But God know that you can carry it. His grace is sufficient. He's going to give you the spirit of might. 
He's going to give you the spirit of knowledge and wisdom and understanding. And you're going to carry the weight. The weight is great, baby. The call is heavy. I said that the other day. I knew that it was a tall glass to fill. I didn't tell God that I did not want it though. But what I did do was say, Lord, don't let me fail you. I don't want to fail you. Don't let me fail you, God. Because I knew the weight of it. And I hadn't even got started yet, y'all. God told me to do this YouTube channel in 2017. I, is when I made this and I'm just getting to it y'all keep going we got to keep going we got to keep going this is for you this is for you that know that God has called you to the mission that the weight is heavy the load is very heavy okay Holy Spirit Thank you. Do you actually think that for Jesus to go to the cross and all obedience was something light? Okay. Okay. Jesus going to the cross was not an easy task. In fact, when he was in Gethsemane praying and he asked the disciples, y'all sit here and let me go and pray. Y'all watch and pray. I'm going up here to pray. When he went to pray, he asked God, if it be thy will, let this cup who are we? When he went back down to check on them, they were asleep. Everybody in your circle, baby, ain't going to be woke. Everybody in your circle ain't going to see the mission. I don't care who they are. Somebody got to get this. Your children, your mama, daddy, auntie, uncle, cousin, I don't care who it is. Friends you've been friends with 20, 30, 40, 15 years. But I don't care your boss at your job, them people that you work around, them folks ain't going to understand. They will sleep. And he said, could you not have not, you know, while I was up here praying. He said, wait here, go on and sleep. I know you're tired. Go on and sleep. Let me go back up here. Because I got to get strength to carry this cross. Y'all, it ain't easy. And that's how we got to get before God. We got to just pour it out and tell him, Lord, it's, it's heavy. It's heavy and the warfare is real. Listen, y'all. If Satan had knew what the cross would have bought today, he would have never been so in haste to kill him. Hmm? But... Okay, so I said a few weeks ago that Satan is not as smart as we think he is. He is only smart to our ignorance. God said in the word that the people let the, the people perish for a lack of knowledge. But it also says in the word that the through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Dig in that word, baby. Mm-hmm. You got to turn that plate down sometimes. It ain't easy. I love to eat. I love the. I'm a big girl. I love to eat. I like food. I'm not. I'm. I, I, listen. I'm not gonna lie. I love to eat, but I got to turn that plate down. I got to fast. Okay. Sometimes we got to fast from people. Okay, that's so. So I just. I'm playing too much, y'all. Sometimes we got to fast from people. We got to fast from TV. We got to fast from a lot. Because the weight, the mission is heavy, baby. And it costs us something. It costs him his life. Okay. 
God showed me in a dream. I had been worn and worn, y'all, and I'm talking about, and I can feel it. Yes, I could. And in the dream, in the spirit realm now, because you got to remember that when we dream, if they're not just dreams, that's just because. I mean, that's, that. you know, that's, no, they mean something. We got to pay close attention to them. But in this dream, last night, upon my awakening, I said, Lord, I thank you. Because in the dream, I got the victory. Why? Because I never gave up. Because I didn't stop. Even when I did not feel like it, y'all. Yesterday was really hard for me. It was really, really hard for me. It was really rough for me, but I kept going. And even when I didn't feel like it, God said, get up and do. And I did. That was hard for me. And I had to get down before God, even before coming on, making the video. I had to get before God and say, this, 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 and this. And I just had to be honest. I had to be, I was, I was like a little baby before him in my daddy's arms. Like, I... I need you because this is what's going on but he already know so this is to you you and me me and you this is to us to keep carrying it keep going keep going I don't care how how God elevates you it's the weight of it but he'll give you the strength. He will give you the spirit of might to carry it. The eagle. It's so amazing to me. Because they are the birds that they are one. Listen, they are the only birds that can fly and soar above the storm. They eyesight can look at, directly into the sun. When they choose, they mate. Okay. When they choose, they mate. They take a, a real heavy uh, uh, stick, a uh, uh, twig, or uh, uh, whatever. It's probably the size of, of the baby that they would give birth to. And they go up as high as they can in the sky. And then they drop it. And he, if he's worthy, he got to come and catch it and be able to carry it. In case the baby fall out like the carriage, y'all. He got to be able to down and catch the baby. She got to know that he can carry the weight. Somebody going to get this. Somebody going to get this today. Because everybody you connected to, man or woman, I don't care who they is. Listen, share this video with somebody because they need to hear this. Man or woman, I don't care who they are. If they, God did not design them for you, baby. And you know God has told you this already. And you keep trying to fix him and shape him and mold him in, uh, to what you want. But he's not worthy. He can't carry the weight. God's not going to put you with nobody who is not your equal or above. I want to know how I know? Because I had two. And I was not happy. I was everything but happy. You be happy for two or three days. And then on the fourth day, head go. Uh-huh. And he can come and buy you this and give you that, you know, and pay these bills and, you know, this and that and the third. And I'm just being honest, y'all. But you're not happy. Because it's not working out. Because God pulling you and Satan pulling you too. He, Satan got a destiny for your life, baby. He got a plan for your life too. God got one for your life too. Choose the one guy I got. It took me a long time to get that. I'm just saying. Make sure you know what you're doing. Because a lot of times when we get into things, y'all, God ain't put us in now. He has not. You don't have any peace. You don't have any joy. All you're doing is you got to, you in torment, baby. And Satan don't care. Because time you come in covenant with somebody. When you sleep with somebody that you're not married to, you have come in covenant with them. 
And now Satan can has raised an evil altar for you to lay you across. That's why he come and torment you. That's why you're living in torment. Because you done came into a covenant with Satan. He sucked this person to you. You agreed to it. Then you came in covenant with it. And now he can lay you out on the altar. He can do whatever he want to do with you. There's laws in this Bible, y'all. Y'all got to get in this word. And God got to re God got to respect it. People don't want to talk about that. God got to respect this word. And Satan had grounds, and he had, if you gave him access, God got to respect and honor his laws. And sometimes we willingly give it to Satan. We willingly give in. We willingly sign our name right on on it. You got to know that. Cuff him out of that. It ain't a God. Don't let nothing and no one hold you down from the work and the ministry and the, and the calling God has on your life. If, 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 well, whoever he got for you, he will, he, listen, he will bring it together. He will bring it to pass. You got to wait on it. Stop being so impatient. Stop looking around and seeing what somebody else got and you want the same thing. Okay, we don't want to. Okay, y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all don't want to talk about. It. We look at somebody else and say, "Oh, they look, they look so good together. They so happy. They oh, he do that for her." And and then they get on Facebook and then they post all kind of pictures and mm, kissy kissy kisses, you know. But you don't know the hell that's going on behind closed doors, baby. Okay, you don't know that she's sleeping with a homosexual. We don't want to talk about that. You don't you don't want to talk about the fact that he's sleeping with somebody that's out there smoking crack. In secret. And they come up and put the mask on and dress up and, and, and make it seem like it's it's looking real good. Y'all, we have got to know that God isn't gonna give us anything that isn't connected to our destiny, to our purpose. And to the will and plan for, for our life that he has for us. Let it go, baby. Let it go. I don't care. Swallow your pride. God will put the pieces back together. He will mend your broken heart. He will set you back on course. He will do this for you. Anyway, I know that I bounce around. I know some people can't stand that. Sorry. This just is what it is. But know that the weight is heavy. Yes, it is. I understand you. I do. I do. I understand you. But we got to keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. And that what is not meant for you to carry God to start breaking, pulling it off. You ain't got to worry about it because it'll start falling off. What ain't meant for you to carry, baby? God, is, he's going to tear it off from you. It's going to start dropping off. Don't even worry about it. Keep going. Don't stop, though. Keep going. Don't take your eyes off of him. Keep going. Because what ain't for you to carry, it's going to start coming on. Anyway. And it's going to get lighter and lighter. And it's going to feel lighter and lighter and lighter. And then after a while, you're going to see that you're carrying the, 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 the impact of so much. It ain't even going to phase you. Why? Because you have the grace of God. Keep going. Keep going. Don't give up. It's weighted. It's heavy, but keep going. Don't stop. I love y'all with the love of Christ. And my prayer is that God just give you the spirit of might, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of wisdom and knowledge and understanding for the mission. This ain't about a title. This is the mission. And know that the warfare come with the territory. After Jesus received the Holy Spirit, after he got baptized and received the Holy Spirit, the Spirit ascended upon him. The Spirit descended upon him, sat on him. The Spirit of a dove. 
And God said, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. And right after that, the spirit, the Holy Spirit led him into the wilderness on a 40-day fast. I did get that call. Now, I mean, some people just, they do and go, you know, go all out and all that. I ain't get that call. So me, I'm over here on, on a, on a three-day fast, you know. I'm on an everyday fast, you know, so many hours a day, you know. From 6 to 12, 12 o'clock I eat from 12 to 6, you know. I'm on the 6 o'clock I eat and then I'm back up, you know. No food to 12 o'clock at night, you know. I'm just saying. God ain't called me to that. Four day fast. But anyway, when he did that, the spirit already knew. God already knew Satan was coming. And just when he got finished, the word said, off the fast, he came to tempt him. He told him, if thou be the son of God, turn these stones into bread. So now you want to test the power, right? Okay. You don't think he going to do us the same way? He coming. He coming. Then he took him up on a high mountain to show him the whole world and say, I give you all this. If you would just bow down and worship me. He said, mm -mm. I should worship no other God. That's the word. He was giving him the word. So what's that letting us know? When he said, when he showed him the whole world, all the kingdoms that said, I give you all of this if you would just bow down and worship me. What is he, what is Satan telling him? What is the word telling us? Satan is the, of this world. He's the ruler of this world. This earth that we walk on and ride on and, and live in and go to work in. He's a, of this world. You got to know that. There's laws in this Bible, y'all. You got to get in and eat it. I don't care. I'm tired of playing patty cake church. I didn't learn this from back, back, back then. I didn't learn this from my mama. I didn't learn this from my daddy. I'm trying to tell y'all what I... We just scratched the surface of the Bible. That's what I learned. But when God called me, he called me to go in deep into this word. I remember in a dream, I would have dreams that I would just dive into in the ocean. Just dive into the ocean. I'd be saying, Lord, where am I going? Down, just down the in there. And y'all, I ain't no swimmer. I, I don't like water. And I'm going into the water. Because I deep. Deep, call it the deep. Deep, call it the deep. Your dreams are important, baby. This is for you too. If you're a dreamer like me, your dreams are important because that's God is speaking to you. Sometimes He might speak to you in a dream or a vision. You know, sometimes He might speak to you in your ear, in your heart. You, you hear Him. He talking. I remember one time I was just standing up, just socializing, and I heard the voices of God say, "Go to church." I was in my mess. God told me, Rosa, I'm with you even in your mess. Somebody got to know that today. Don't stop. Everything up to this point has been, God has been doing it. Lean on him. Trust in. Press in. Press in. Press in to him. Don't give up. Carry the weight. Because you can. He gave it to you for a reason. People not going to understand. You might as well just hang that up. Don't even try to get them to understand. That's going to go over their head. Whatever you talk about, it's just gonna, they ain't going to get that. Talk to the Lord and the Holy Spirit. God will put people in your path that will aid you to where you need to go. He'll use anybody, baby. I love y'all with the love of Christ. Have a good day.